हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर शिवम वाटा एंड आई वॉज बॉर्न इन पानीपत हरियाणा आई डिड माई स्कूलिंग फ्राम सेंट मेरीज कॉन्वेंट सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल इन द पानीपत एंड आई जॉइन एम बी बी एस इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन इन यू सी एम एस डेली एंड आई जॉइन डैम्स ड्यूरिंग माई सेकेंड ईयर ऑफलाइन क्लासेज आई जॉइन इन करोल बाग सेंटर and from the starting only i started uh, preparing my offline notes with dams and uh, due to the lockdown i uh, the whole thing was shifted towards the online mode and through which the e medicos app also evolved a lot uh, in the app there were so many features which helped me uh, during my uh, preparation uh in uh, 2023 november inict i got rank 315 uh, through which i joined ophthalmology names delhi but after uh, pursuing it for a year i felt like it was not meant for me so i started prepare started preparing for this exam in january this year and at that point also uh, dams helped me a lot wow yeah. uh i since there was not much time for me so this is uh, this is the first time that uh, dams had launched lrr program which immensely helped me in my preparation i combined it with my old notes back to basic notes lrr and mission inict also i used mission inict specifically for those subjects which i thought was weak and which aims is fond of asking like uh, psm obs gynae pathology anatomy and uh, uh, pharmacology and uh, i also loved doing inict mock papers there are approximately 8 to 10 inict mock papers uh, which uh, really help to simulate the real life uh, uh, real exam experience i also did inict cbt mock which ex- uh, which dams conducted and uh, it was really nice experience uh, in the last 7 to 10 days i used to do uh, dvt on repeat mode i used to listen the videos on 2 and or 2.5x speeds and i just used to listen it uh, continuously uh, and without dams it would have not been possible to achieve such a great rank and i am uh, forever grateful to sumesh sir and deepthi ma'am since i had only 5 to 6 months to prepare i would like to share my uh, preparation strategy in a more elaborate manner it would be extremely helpful for those who are currently pursuing non acad jaship or even they are interns it i think it would be really helpful for them so initially uh, i started in mid of january and i used to do two subjects simultaneously to kill the boredom uh but i felt like like uh, those notes were a uh, bit old like they were uh, one and a half or one year uh, old so i used to uh, compare those notes through uh, notes which are provided in the back to basic videos since uh, the time was less i couldn't uh, watch the video i simply used to watch the i used to simply read the notes uh, Uh, under the video and i used to compare those notes and my previous notes and any difference i would uh, note down in my previous notes so that's how i used to complete my i think 13 14 subjects in that manner i used to complete my first revision uh, happened in the end of Jan- in the end of uh, march so uh, i thing i thought really i could not do the second revision if i did second revision i would not have been able to do uh, gts or uh, uh, mcq practice so my second uh, my uh, strategy in the place of second revision is kind of uh, different i did uh, tnd and uh, all the dams question bank and i used to do retrospective revision i used to uh, do uh, all the wrong things that i did in the exam in the tnd exam or the uh, dams question bank and used to revise that particular topic from that notes 
and since we when we look at a particular topic from our notes we tend to see uh, previous or the next topic as well like it's like a semi second revision i kind of did so after that i was uh, in the first week of april i started doing gts before that i was only doing question bank and uh, uh, some testing discussion so i used to do it weekly and i also remember that uh, i did two uh, gts in a single day also that included one inict mock and one gt and uh, since i had since i did not do gts i had to do in a very uh, congested manner so that i could complete a maximum inict mocks as i said that there are 8 to 10 inict mocks and they are very fantastic then uh, in the last one month there are certain subjects uh, for which i just did lrr because i feel they do not come as much in inict especially like anesthesia i did just lrr and in one day i completed uh, the relevant dams question bank of that subject and lrr so i did that subject in one day then in the last i think uh, So third week of april onwards i used to do mission inict i would recommend to do mission inict at least one month prior to the exam so i did five to six subjects of mission inict again i could not able to i could not see the video due to time crunch so i just went through the uh we uh, through the uh, notes and the notes are really they are really really good especially uh, pathology no. they did sir told something which is not in the notes so it's like cherry on the cake thing so i used to add those thing on my notes and revise the whole subject in a one or two day period and in the last 7 to 10 days i think dvt is the best thing to go to and and i don't recommend anyone to uh, open main notes in the last 7 to 10 days because dvt and lrr are the most high yield content out there in the market and in the last 7 to 10 days we just need to keep hammering on the high yield topics so if is not if it is not very necessary like you are not able to understand in dvt or lrr then only you should go to main notes so to uh, for my juniors for future aspirants i would really request everyone to join sumer sethi telegram channel it's radiology unplugged and uh, deepthi ma'am's uh, obs gyne channel also deepthi ma'am also conducts other subjects mcqs as well along with obs gyne and those are really really very good so i would urge everyone to join these channels apart from it mission inict helped me a lot to understand the point of view of an inict examiner how they set an exam like this like uh, the the teachers at dams really know how the people sitting in pgi jipmer or aims think about an exam like it so they conduct so they uh, create a, a very good resource for us in the form of mission inict so apart from it like uh, keep uh, focus on first and second year subjects more they are they are really very tricky in inict compared to neat pg and uh, trust your lrr and dvt resources they are very good so that's all that is just the difference from inict and neat pg and i'm sure many other people have also told you similar things so yeah all the very best for your future endeavor i hope i see you as my colleague or as my junior in my college Thank you all.